I might be politically incorrect with what I'm about to say, but Mr. Speaker, I will be publicly indicating that we have pledged to the President of Ghana that we will be supporting the distinguished nomination of the Foreign Minister of Ghana to lead the Commonwealth of Nations when that time arrives. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell announcing Grenada's support for Ghana's candidacy in Parliament on Tuesday. Ghana's Foreign Affairs Minister Shirley Ayoko Boche launched her candidacy earlier this month, emphasizing her vision for fostering free trade agreements among the Commonwealth's 56 member nations. She was part of a delegation led by the President of Ghana, Nana Adu Akufu Adu, that visited Grenada to participate in the Golden Jubilee celebrations. Grenada's former ambassador to the Caribbean community, CARICOM, Arli Gill, shared his thoughts on this development. It's a matter that um, Prime Minister Mitchell and President Adu, I'm sure, they would have discussed with some great detail. So that um, Prime Minister Adu being here, of course, uh, was good for Prime Minister Mitchell. And I'm sure that the support that Grenada intends to extend in no small measure is good for the image of, of Ghana as well and in the interest of Ghana. If successful in her bid as Ghana's candidate, Minister Ayoko Boche will become the seventh Secretary General of the Commonwealth and the second woman to hold the post. According to reports, Prime Minister Mitchell's declaration of support for Ghana's Foreign Affairs Minister to become the next Secretary General of the Commonwealth is one of the trending stories appearing in Ghanaian press on Friday. The Commonwealth Secretary general is nominated by Commonwealth leaders and can serve a maximum of two four-year terms. The incumbent Secretary General is Dominican Baroness Patricia Scotland, whose tenure ends in October. For GBN News, Nisha Paul.